Obituaries are sponsored by Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Fair, Ray, and Perry Spencer Funeral Homes, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory. James Barry Ellison, 82, died Wednesday. Arrangements are forthcoming from Colonial Funeral Home. Graveside services for Kenneth Ray Farmer, 80, are tomorrow at 11 at Mayadan Municipal Cemetery. Reverend Hassel Pretty officiating with military honors provided by the Rockingham County Honor Guard and North Carolina National Guard. There will be no formal visitation. He served his country in the United States Army. He spent many years doing impressions and parades dressed in full Elvis attire. Surviving are daughter Dee Shaw and Brad, one grandchild, brother Tony Farmer and Alice, longtime companion Jeannie Nelson, and son Danny Nelson and Pat. In lieu of flowers, memorials may be made to Brenner's Children's Hospital or a favorite charity. Colonial Funeral Home is serving the family. Graveside services for Paul Lawson are today at 11 at Overlook Cemetery. Fair Funeral Home is serving the family. Funeral services for Reynolds Bunny McBride Biggs are today at 2 at Fair Funeral Home with burial in Overlook Cemetery. Military rites performed at Graveside by the Rockingham County Veterans Honor Guard and the U.S. Navy. The family will receive friends one hour prior to the service. Ida Norman Barnes, 56, died Thursday. Graveside services are tomorrow at 11 at Roselawn Memorial Gardens. She will lie in repose today at Fair Funeral Home from 12 until 6. She was born in Rockingham County, was an active member of Aiken Summit Wesleyan Church in Axton, a 1986 graduate of Rockingham Community College, where she received an associate's degree in nursing, was a registered nurse at Cone Health, Moorhead Memorial Hospital, and retired from UNC Rockingham Healthcare. Surviving are husband, Arnold Barnes of the home, daughter, Hannah Lassour and Paul, son, Joseph Barnes of Eden, sister, Gail Wilmoth and Danny of Reedsville. Charles Randy Jefferson, 57, died Wednesday. Graveside services are tomorrow at 2 at Lawson Cemetery. He will lie in repose today at Fair Funeral Home from 12 until 6. He was born in Leakesville and formerly employed by Southern Finishing Company. Surviving are sisters Teresa Hawkins and Mike of Brown Summit, Lulu Duncan and Clayton of Stoneville, and Debbie Lefew of Mayadan. Brothers Jim Strickland of Wentworth, Rocky Petty and Vicky, and Rick Jefferson of Eden. Rebecca Becky Craig Evans, 63, died Wednesday. Graveside services are tomorrow at noon at Overlook Cemetery, Martinsville. Excuse me, at Oakwood Cemetery in Martinsville. She will lie in repose today at Fair Funeral Home from 1 until 6. She was a graduate of Bassett High School and a retiree of Miller Brewing Company. Survivors include brother Roger Eugene Craig of Stoneville. Private graveside services for Donnie Lee Brim Sr. are today at 6 at Pleasantville Primitive Baptist Church. Ray Funeral Home is serving the family. We have four announcements from Perry Spencer Funeral Home in Madison. Arrangements for Robert D. Pass of Walnut Cove are incomplete. Graveside services for Mary E. Settle are today at 2.30. Public viewing for Calvin L. Carter and Ernestine Mohammed today from 1 until 7 with private services. Two announcements from Perry Spencer Funeral Home in Eden. Graveside services for Tincanic Z. Brim will be held Tuesday, December 15th, live-streamed, public viewing Monday from 1 until 7. Private memorial services for Lakeisha McFarlane will be held Wednesday, December 16th at 2. Both services will be streamed live. 